Okay, uh, this is about the the Gorgon Sitho. In in Greek mythology, there's a male Gorgon named Sitho, and uh, he's gay, and he was gay, and he would go on these tyroids that represents hegemonic power. You know, it's a deranged fucking destructive mode, destruction mo bent on it. <coughs> and uh, I wanna, you, perhaps it's a logical fallacy that I'm entertaining, right? But uh, the snake people, the snake people, from all over the world, places that the snake people had to be pursued and chased out. And uh, sometimes they were represented by Atlantean. And so uh, there was a similar to the West Nile Valley. The pyramid has destruction on the four corners of the pyramid that represent energy having a blue that some calamity and blew out the corners and the rubble pushed out, exploded out from the corners. So there's evidence of of the explosion at the base of the pyramids, which are off center, like a little bit, not perfectly. And there's for a reason, because they were uh, bouncing high frequencies, energy frequencies off of the pyramids. And uh, they had these porcelain propellers they're when they found them they thought they were broken so they fixed them and now it's hard to research what they did with uh, with how they were supposed to use but they have like these like ceramics that are like ring like a bell like it's really meant for high pitch frequency tuning and shit like that site cymatics Cymatics. And then there's, you know, like that old guy who had this like mystery theme park with stones and he could have stones dropped off and delivered that needed help and people to move them. But he just, he was like, oh, I don't, if you didn't pay anybody, I'll take him, you know? And he would like have these like, he, it's like maybe it's this, maybe this is some flukery or something. Maybe you can just debunk it. But he had these like golden ice cream cones similar to some ice cream go gold cones that they had in ancient Samaria or Egypt or somewhere. Uh, but he was supposedly using them to levitate stones. So anyways, um, there's an energy discharge and it's snake people energy. The Gorgon, Lil Sito Lil is like from Thistler, the little Sito. <laughs> like people, you don't understand like this stuff. We already have subconsciously registered. Like what's up? What's happening with Damu? What's happening, Damu? The menstrual god deity, Dravidian menstrual deity. You know. Hmm. But uh, it's like themed in art history and black metal. And now Lil Sito is, you know, he was saying, if you think, or, because I'm white, that or, if you think I'm lame because I'm white or something, so, okay, you really are dumb. We really don't know about Lil, what Lil Sito is. Like he's a, gor he's a Gorgon. Atlantean, the snake people. He probably doesn't know. He probably don't know. Uh, he's not the first, because there's another, there's a seat though, that's a rapper. And he's he's a, a Mexican. Uh, so there's, two, maybe, but then there's the, The Thizzler guy, who is kind of giving, he's 
kind of the butt of jokes, kind of like the butt of all jokes. But he's, it's just because he's put not organic, you know what I mean? He's not thorough because he's not put there for any just like a justifiable reason other than corporatizing uh, you know playing ball with the uh, corp corporation corporation corporate you know a small cointel pro type of thing but it's anybody could be now like <clears throat> before somebody illuminates what's the difference before somebody's illuminated you're like cointel pro too like you're coming over from being a useful idiot to uh, looking at things a different perspective that can add or contribute to a platform position. All right, enough videos. This, these are hypotheticals. I just be like looking at stuff. Uh, it doesn't have to be true for everybody. It could just be me. It could just be.